Good morning and thanks to Mairead and the team at the HRB for inviting me to present this morning and for the next 10 minutes I'm going to talk to you about how the research that I've been doing has changed significantly over the last year. Health system foundations for effective regional integrated care areas began its life in October 2019 as a HRB applied partnership award. The partners were the HSE and the Sloucher Care Implementation Office in the Department of Health. And the aim of the research was to co-design and co-produce research that would feed into the design and the implementation of the new regions, which is a key element of Sloucher Care reform. The team originally brought together uh, is made up of myself as the PI, Laura McGahey as Deputy Secretary General of the Department of Health and the lead knowledge user in the project. The five headshots on the left are of senior personnel in the Department of Health and the HSE, all of whom are co-applicants. Joseph Figuera at the bottom, uh, Director of the European Observatory and Health Systems and Policies, also a co-applicant alongside Steve Thomas and Sarah Barry, my colleagues in the Centre for Health Policy. Also involved in the centre are Boric Fleming and Bridget Johnson, who've been working on specific aspects of the project. And to the right are a range of the collaborators. And in particular, I mentioned Paul Kavanagh because he's a collaborator, but also a proportion of his time in kind is involved in this project. In terms of where foundations had got to by this time a year ago, we'd spent the first couple of months being up and running, getting up and running with the ethics secured. We'd made good progress on a specific piece of work that's been led by Sarah Barry, which the health systems unit in the Department of Health had asked us to do as part of foundations, which was how can we learn from previous service reorganizations in Ireland so that we can do the regions better? And Sarah Barry led on this doing a international rapid review of the literature, but also primary research in terms of documentary analysis and interviews with 10 key informants. We'd begun rapid reviews on two other components, resource allocation based on population health profiling. And Paul Cavanagh and I had begun work scoping uh, a rapid review in relation to data and what data would be most relevant to inform the work of the project of the we were documenting the policy process and this included participant observation within a new team formed between the department of the hse to roll out the regions as well as ongoing dialogue and discussion with key partners and all of this was what we were called building the life the living implementation framework with evaluation co-producing research and evidence and feeding that research in real time into the system with a view to informing implementation and then there was COVID. And very early on in those days in March, Laura McGahey and I were talking to each other a lot on the phone. And what had happened was that pretty much everybody else who had been involved in the regions from the Department of Health, the HSC, were put onto the COVID response. So the regions, so the topic of research and the policy process, which I was researching and feeding into, was and has been for the last year put on ice. And we were also noticing that there was all these things happening in the system that seemed to be quite uh, relevant to Sloucher Care. So the universal nature of COVID-19 testing, diagnosis and treatment, uh, the big push to keep people outside of hospital, universal access to GPs by telephone for COVID-related symptoms, uh, the contracting of private hospitals for public patients for three months for surge capacity, increased mobilization of health workers and hiring of additional staff, and also a whole range of activities in the area here, e-health, in particular uh, e-prescribing, which went universal in the early days of the COVID-19 response. And we were discussing if and how foundations could harness some of those learnings to inform Sloucher Care's implementation. And simultaneously, us in the centre, we were asked to contribute to the or to report for Ireland, and we've reported weekly for Ireland to the COVID-19 Health System Response Monitor, and just saw an opportunity there to feed Ireland into this broader European and global project and to learn from what was happening globally and at a European level for Ireland. 
obviously the shift in focus of the research had to be negotiated. It took, it was quite time consuming, both with dialogue with the Department of Health and the HSE, many of whom were much busier doing COVID, specific COVID related work, but we negotiated the shift with partners and then the HSE agreed to that shift in focus on the basis that we published a protocol which I was delighted to do, although proved extremely uh, time consuming to, to do that too. And critically, while the area of research, the content of the research changed, the methods we were using of co-production, co-design, gathering data with the system, rapid reviews, feeding that into the system, maintained the same throughout. And so the new foundations was about building this life, this living implementation framework to learn from the COVID-19 response rather than to inform the regions. In terms of what made it possible to adapt the research, I think people were key. We've had a very good working relationship with partners and in particular the lead knowledge user. The personnel were pertinent to both topics. So we were lucky that the group of people I had gathered together over two years ago when drafting the proposal for foundations were, were still very relevant in one way or other to the health system response to COVID. Uh, and the engagement and support of these people was absolutely key. And this was based on good, robust, um, supportive working relationships and a high level of trust. And I think that trust was key. As I said before, while the topic or the the area of focus change, the research to de design and methodology largely remained the same. And that was important in terms of our ethics, our contract, our budget. Um, and in particular, I think the nature of the research, which is iterative, responsive, co-design, co-production, largely qualitative, although there are quantitative elements to it, I think that helped shift so quickly, us shift so quickly. And there was a lot of uh, hard work and patience and goodwill that got us there. In terms of progress that we've made to date, we've completed that reorganization research that I referred to, and we've continued our work on the other rapid reviews, although some of those have changed to respond to the current situation. We've done this substantial piece of work with partners scoping, documenting and assessing 62 of the COVID-19 health system responses. and. Ongoing work is with 17 clusters of these and this month we are beginning to collect indicators on 10 of these initiatives and to do three in-depth case studies, the focus being on what are the sustainable and scalable elements of the COVID-19 health system response that can inform and contribute to Slauncher Care's implementation. We're continuing to document the policy process and engage in dialogue engagement with partners. And all of this is our life, our living implementation framework with evaluation. In terms of some reflections on changing the research focus and the question that kept on resonating in my mind throughout the preparation for this session was, uh, was it worth it? And these are my reflections rather than those of the team. And when I say team, I, I'm, I use the term loosely because in fact, just myself and a postdoc are funded on this project, but it has had this very much collaborative partnership approach to it. And I think it, I feel quite strongly that it's been a privilege to be researching uh, what we are researching at the moment, that what we are seeing alongside the grief and the loss and the sickness uh, caused by COVID-19 there is also this extraordinary health policy and health system change never seen in before in my lifetime or in my working life and perhaps in the history of health systems. So to be part of the academic research that's trying to harness and capture that, I think is a real privilege. The work we've done today has been credited by partners as influencing in just in the last six to nine months, the program for government, the living with COVID plan, the HSE COVID winter plan, the yet to be published HSE National Service Plan and Slauncher Care Implementation in 2021 and beyond. I liked this quote from Robin Sharma, and we are in the messy bit, and not only that, but we're in the messy bit in the midst of a global pandemic. So I'm looking forward to living the life, to getting to the gorgeousness at the end. Although the hope of this project is that while the research ends in 2021, that many of the ways of working or the data gathering are continued by the project partners. 
Ultimately, Foundation seeks to use health systems and policy research to inform practically and academically the implementation of slaughter care in Ireland and health reform internationally. And I think if we manage to contribute to that in any small way, then absolutely changing the focus of the research has been worth it. And I look forward to our discussions on this matter.